Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Let's see what's going on with floor number three. Okay, looks like we're going to have a little bit of recorder action. Also, I just realized that because I can actually get the connectors outside of level 2, I could actually just bring them in the elevator to here, right? So I think maybe that's what this is for? To prevent you from doing something like that? Or at least to prevent you from getting this jammer outside? Hmm. Okay, well, this seems relatively straightforward. Or is it? There's three of them. And there's no connector in here, right? No. How in the hell? I guess... Oh, actually, no, this is really easy. Yeah, we just do this. Oh, wait, no, I can't get back to the recorder. Oh, wait a minute, but that's actually fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I don't actually need to get back to the recorder just yet, because I can just leave this on for a while. And then get back to it. Then take this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. If this has all been a test, then I can expect a reckoning at the top. Yet, the higher I climb, the more I doubt the decisions I've made. I see now that none of us are yet ready. The cycle exists so that we may improve ourselves. But the one who reaches the summit is not our superior, for they stand on our shoulders to reach it. Indeed. Every single person alive today stands on the shoulders of giants, basically. We all benefit from what everybody previously did to get us to this place. And what is back here? Secrets? Oh, no, just a way out. Osiris password. Hmm. I'm listening. And there, in the tower, you shall hear the rustling of the wind in the reed fields of Osiris, and you shall rejoice. But beware, for the end of your journey is not yet upon you. Thank you for installing Realistic Elevators 1.8. New features include password locking and automatic auxiliary stair generation. See, and the scribe of Osiris wrote upon the sacred parchment that is called INI Floor 4 Password <laughs> equals 255. Only thus can you reach Blessed Aru. Uh. Okay, I think this part seems to not belong here. Somehow this little part of text seems to intrude upon this. The thank you for installing Realistic Elevators 1.8. New features include password locking and automatic auxiliary stair generation. See? The auxiliary stairs have apparently already been generated. At least I'm assuming so. I, I think so. I think it said they were already... Well, it said it was already... It was forced active because the license expired. Maybe I need to actually activate them. Maybe that's why I can't see them. I just haven't actually activated them yet. But then how do I activate them? Maybe one of these computers on one of the levels will have it or something. I don't know. 
just love this though. And the scribe of Osiris wrote upon the sacred parchment that is called INI floor 4 underscore password. <laughs> that is an awesome name for a piece of parchment. 255. Let's see, how does that work? 255? I'm trying to remember, is that the maximum? I think that's the maximum value you can store in an unsigned 8-bit integer. I think. Isn't it? Or is it? It's either 255 or 254. I can't remember. Anyway. Okay, 255. Cool. Write that down. Contraries dot dat. Without contraries is no progression. Attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate, are necessary to human existence. From these contraries spring what the religious call good and evil. Good is the passive that obeys reason. Evil is the active springing from energy. Definitely some stuff to translate here too. I'll do that in a second. Athena 14. Chapter 14, The Judgment of Hephaestus. If what you say is true, and my father Hephaestus is slain, then who am I? For I was made in his image, and that image is now gone. Am I like the reflection in a mirror, to vanish when the person steps away? Or have I now become Hephaestus myself? Forged to be no more than a replacement, as one may purchase a new sandal from the same shoemaker. Let's go ahead and unlock floor number four. Auxiliary stairway access control. I mean, I would think that's where you would generate the stairs, but I think I've already been there, haven't I? Yes, this is an always open mode. Hmm. Current operating parameters, I'm sure nothing's changed. Yep. Nothing's changed. Okay, 255. I am going to do some translating and I'll be right back. There we go. So this top part translates into to see a world in a grain of sand. And this translates into hold infinity in the palm of your hand. To see a world in a grain of sand, hold infinity in the palm of your hand. Hey, that rhymes. I wonder if it's from a song or something. Now I can go to floor number four. Even though I can't actually go out to jump off of the balcony or anything like that, I still want to go up just to see what's up here. Also, I just realized I think I need to unlock that new tool to actually go on to the next place. The tool that's flashing in the top left of my screen. The tool that I spent like 15 minutes trying to unlock, but I couldn't. So, that's gonna be fun. Got three of the pieces. Nothing around here? Okay. Now, I could go all the way to floor number zero, to the ground floor, but you know it's faster. Jumping! It's actually probably only marginally faster. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's really fun. Oh my god, this is awesome!
and one more star and I can open up the next I can open up the next star room that is going to be cool Okay, let me see if I was right. So this first place does not require that tool. Already finished. Did I do number two? No. And unfortunately, three of the four puzzles do, do require that tool. I still have no idea what the heck that thing even is. But uh, I guess I better go unlock it. Alright, well, let's hope this time doesn't take 15 minutes of just sitting around with my puzzle pieces up my ass. Oh, thank God I finally found it. Thank God. I hate this. I freaking hate this thing. Why is it so hard? There's only six pieces. I have now unlocked person holding the skateboard. I have no idea what that is. You have come far in your journey, and learned much. You have served our cause with the truest faith. Therefore, I name you Blessed and Beloved. Wield these, the instruments of our power, to fulfill your purpose and achieve eternal life. Achieve eternal life. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what he means by that now. At least, roughly, even if I don't know the exact specifics. Basically, eternal life means you don't really solve anything, and the process continues. Living forever in blissful ignorance. That is a really cool looking castle. Beep boop. Poopy. Family. For those of you who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. There are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. They're the people I grew up with. The people I care about. The people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me. They said awful things to me, and I've said awful things to them. But that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we, we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. But we don't. So I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. From Alan Jameson, Institute for Applied Nomadics. To Fran. You know what the oddest thing is about all this? We're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused, and we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal, like that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess, what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help. But I didn't expect to feel like this at all. And you know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck. Alan. P.S. Love from George. Hmm. 
I kind of want to know what that new tool is. I'm really curious what the heck it is. Take a brief look around. What do you bet one of these gravestones has something written on it? <gasps> I knew it! That door was so inviting! I was trying to see if I could open it, but you can't, but you can just go through it. And what the hell is happening in there? Looks like some dude throwing around papers or something. Uh. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Look at the trends on that graph. Money. <laughs> Rich. It's like a freaking mountain. <laughs> Question. Suppose everything here serves a precise role in some grand scheme. How would we explain that? It's obviously like a digital time capsule, an electric library of all the crazy stuff that humans ever did, left behind to warn other species to stay well away. <laughs> That's from Nietzsche. So what happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They existed, and then they didn't. And they probably wouldn't do it all over again. Elohim is inconsistent. I don't trust him. Good. I'm glad you don't. That's heartening. There's gotta be something to do with one of these graves. The headstones are opening up the tops or something. I'm very suspicious of them. Okay, well there's not much to explore kind of in this main hub area, so let's go do a puzzle. And let's do one that involves a new tool, because I'm really curious what it actually does. Uh, let's do one that's relatively simple. Let's see, uh, that one's got two parts to it. So let's go with that. Seems the simplest. Uh, wait, what? It's back here? So it is. There we go. The short wall. That looks like something I can jump over. Is there... Is that a puzzle room? I don't think it actually is. Oh, wait. I can just walk there. <laughs> wait, but why would I need to walk there? What's going on over there? Because this is where I actually need to get to. Hmm.
All right, got a good old recorder, and we have a platform. The platform can be used to have something carried on it. Hmm? But I can just carry stuff in my hands. Oh! This is for the... This is for me to jump on top of my recording. I think. Yes! It is. I hope I move along with my recording or, or I'm going to have to really sync my movement. Yeah. My recording is going to do this and I'm going to jump on top of it. I'm guessing this is probably the only thing that the recording actually does that actually has collision. Because I know that uh, the recording person itself does not have collision, and I know the boxes that they have and stuff don't have collision. But that thing probably does. There's gotta be more uses for it than that, though, right? There's gotta be. I'm trying to think of what else you'd use it for other than getting on top of your recording. What does it matter that I scribble my contempt on these walls if I'm still surrounded by them? Okay, let's do it. Alright, so I think we do something like this, and... Uh, how do I walk? Is there a button to walk? I, I know he, I know he can walk with a controller, but I'm not, I'm not using a controller. So there's sprint, but even not sprinting is really fast. There isn't, is there? Also, I need to bind the alternate uh, alternative use button. A lot of people have told me about that. Apparently, it's really weird that it's not assigned to anything at the moment. But apparently, if you assign that, you can use that key to pick up connectors, and if your connector is connected to, well, anything, then by using the alternative use key to pick it up, you'll actually preserve those connections. So when you put it down again, it'll connect back to what it was trying to connect to before. Which is very useful. I don't know what I want to use for it, though. I'll do that later. Yeah, so there's no walk command. Hmm. There's a walk speed. But I don't really, really want to turn that down. I guess I'll just run. Okay, that should do it. Oh, wait a minute, I can't get up there. Oh, wait a minute. I can't get under that. Oh, I see. And... One, two, three, go. Boosted myself off there. Calm down. Calm down. Alright, am I going to stay on it? Please stay on it. Or do I have to move with it? We're about to find out. Oh, sweet. I move with it. Nice. Okay, that offers a lot of flexibility for recordings. Two. Three. Go! Pretty good timing. Yeah, that offers a lot of flexibility to the recordings. That is really cool. And there's probably other stuff you can do with it, too. Like, I imagine... I imagine you could probably put anything on top of it, whether it be boxes or connectors or whatever. Hmm. Can I use that to get out of here? Yeah. 
Is it high enough? Yeah, it probably is. Let's try it. Ooh, what happens if I jump? I just jumped. Am I actually going to stay on top of it? I wonder if I'll stay on top of it after my recording jumped. Actually, I suppose I could just jump up and down if I do, and that would allow me to get even more height. Oh yeah, look at that. Ha ha! The beginning were the words and the words... Okay, not exactly the best place to actually get out of bounds, because there's nothing there. But yeah, that is... Wow, that's going to allow me to do a lot of stuff. That is very cool. Okay, well, let's solve one more puzzle. Let's look for a relatively simple one. This one has two pieces. Let's try that. Should be simple, right? Yeah. Cemetery. No kidding. This entire place is a cemetery. Wait a minute, this doesn't seem simple. This seems huge. That's alright. I'm used to taking on large things. Oh my god, this room actually is really big. Alright. What do I have to work with? What am I trying to get, get to? Got a connector. Cool. Got a box. Cool. to get through here and see what's there. I'm assuming this one's going to take a while to actually activate, so I probably need to put it on top of a box. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Is it going to hit? Aw, oh, man. Lame. I suppose I could... Actually, I could almost buy... Wait a minute, can I just... I could just bypass it, can't I? I can. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh. Hmm. Well, I can do this. If the angle's right, then it shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And I can block you in. Okay, we're good. Two connectors. That is an incredibly dumb place to put that. There we go. Oh, wait. That's it? <laughs> That's really it? What did I do there that was new? Like, everything I did there felt like stuff I've done before. Well, that's weird.
That's really it? That just doesn't seem right. Wait a minute, what about here? Oh, maybe the star's in there. Hmm. Hmm. How would I go about doing that? Oh, I know. Maybe. Do I know? Why? Yes, I think I just might. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's going to be pretty damn cool. I know exactly why this little thing is here. Look at that. Perfect for standing on. Hmm. No coincidence. Plonk. I can't jump onto that? Wait a minute. Oh, maybe I can do it from here. This one's a little bit higher. Okay, how is this going to work? I don't know if this is going to work. Let me see if it goes white. Eh, yeah, it went white for like a, like a half a second. Okay, it's cool, but it doesn't work. Gotta be sustained. I mean, I guess that's not even remotely difficult, is it? Can't you just do that, basically? And then I don't even think you need the box? Wait, what? <laughs> Why is this box here? I don't understand. I didn't need this box, not even remotely. Is there a star in here somewhere? Is that what this box is for? I don't get it. Either this box is for a star, or they thought that puzzle was a lot more complicated than I did. A star up there on the serpent or whatever that is. I don't see any secret chambers. Well, let me see if there's anything up here, I, I guess. Can't quite make it. So close. Hmm. I don't think that's actually any higher. No, that's not. Okay, I have no idea what's up with that. That's really weird. I mean, I could bring those boxes over here. Would that allow me to get anywhere? I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.